Welcome to another exciting Let's Play. We're playing the game called How. Where I've played this before, but this is a fun little quick game. I know that it's like a springtime game. I really should be playing something uh, Halloween-ish because I believe by the time this goes up it will be October. Um, but as usual, I always in October I always say I'm gonna play scary games, and and then I I never play any scary games. Hey, look, it's a it's a bug. He says, "Look who's here! You're back finally." Yep, I'm back. But I got this game, and I thought I'd play it. It's very quick. It's very cute, and like summery. Can't go that way. And easy, very easy to get all the achievements. Oh, I didn't even need you. Use that bug. Um, that guy down there to jump onto these flowers to get up here because as you saw I cannot go that way But most of the achievements can be gotten in the first well You could probably get all of them in the first run There are three achievements that are not story related So if you're just playing just to play you'll miss three of them So I'm going to go after two of the achievements that I missed to get the platinum trophy uh, In this run through I already got the I already played this once before feel like that way I have a little bit more to talk about. Come on, buddy. This guy will- you can uh, lead him. I gotta lead him all the way over here so I can jump on these leaves. It is a platforming game and there are no enemies in this game. Not- not really. I mean, the only enemy is pretty much yourself, but it's- I don't think you can die in this game, really. I mean, I'd be surprised if I could. I already screwed this up. The starting- uh, the starting level is a little is a little annoying because I don't have some of the abilities. You'll get some abilities as we play. Um, right now I just have the jump, as you saw. I can only jump one time, so that kind of makes it a little bit confusing. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Come on, buddy. But once we get the double jump, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, it is a platforming game, as I said, so there's a lot of that. It's not too terribly hard if you're, uh... If you played like the old like Nintendo platforming games, it's kind of like that. It can get a little frustrating. I think there's like two sections in this game that are just super frustrating as far as platforming. And one of them is in the very beginning, um, this section, this forest section. And then the other one is like towards the end. And I spent a good amount of time <laughs> trying to do those sections just because they were so infuriating. And I might have to cut a little bit. Uh, when I get there, if I can't get it on like the first go. I imagine this would probably be maybe four or five parts. It's an incredibly short game, really. Um, he told me to go up here. But it's very cute. It's, I think it's Chinese. So unlike uh, Summer and Mara, where the girl, her name was KOA, which was Koa, this thing is named HOA, which is a uh, homeowner's association. No, his name is Hao, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, instead of Hoa, <laughs> which would make more sense, but whatever. Oh, uh, now we got access to the map. So we got access to the map. So there's the, there's the map. I like these things. They're cute. Look at them. They squeak. They squeak. You jump on them. They're adorable. They don't follow you. They're just kind of walking in the way that I need to go. But I gotta get him to bounce on this guy right here. So an achievement here, I already have it, but if you get hit by these guys ten times, that's an achievement. Um, basically, it's not really hit. You let them kick you. Yeah, I'll demonstrate. Like that. It doesn't hurt. Like I said, I don't think you can die in this game. <laughs> get up there. But he does it anyway, just to be an annoying little prick. Just like kicks you but you gotta get kicked by him ten times and that's that's one of the achievements you can miss I also just picked up a butterfly get out of the damn oh they gotta put the butterflies on the map so all those butterflies we have to get those they're not optional you have to get them and we have one uh, with us right now butterflies give you uh, free stuff actually you you need them to progress and so you can't skip that part we have to get them actually there's one up here somewhere um, what they do is they'll give me, at the end of each level, the person, or the, I don't want to say god, it's not really the god. 
Yeah, like he's telling you now. Collect them and they will be useful to you later. Meaning, go get them now, because otherwise you're going to have to play this again. Or go backtracking through the level to get them. So you might as well get them now while you're, like, wandering around. Freaking controls. They're awful in this game. So I got a second one. And I'll complain about that consistently. The controls are pretty bad in this game. The double jump saves a lot of the frustration, but I don't have it yet. So, I don't know. Like, sometimes sometimes this thing will run and jump, and then sometimes it won't. So to wake up the boss, basically we have to light up engravings. Wait a minute. Put them on the map. Do it. Okay, so I have to light up that little star thing, but I also need to go get the damn butterflies. Because if I come back to the boss lady, and I don't have all the butterflies, basically she's gonna tell me go find the freaking butterflies. GET UP THERE! Okay, let's just go straight up. Do 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 Platforming game is boring. Actually, this game, it... If you got something to do, I think it took me, I don't know, it's like a couple hours, maybe three hours, three or four hours. I can't imagine it would take me that long to do it now, though, that I know what I'm doing. But it's very linear. It looks like it's not, but it really is. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't. Get, get to the map. I mean, the worlds are not as big as, <laughs> as what the game would suggest. They're really not. So let's jump up here. And there should be two butterflies over here. Is this the annoying section? There's a section in this in this area that is very annoying. It might be this right here. So you jump on this. You basically swing back and forth. I use the um, the directional pad to to play this game just because it's a little bit easier to control it. The stick, for whatever reason, the game doesn't respond very well to the stick. So I, I use, I'm using the directional pad, which is weird, too, because I'm not used to doing that either. I think I have to swing to that other one, but I'm not sure. Ugh! Well, yeah, I do. Okay. And he auto-hooks on this. There's nothing to do there. He's gonna auto-hook on it, and then you just have to swing, swing, and jump. Actually, that, that wasn't too bad. That's not the annoying part that I was talking about. There's a more annoying port, uh, part up ahead here. The swinging thing is annoying. This this part actually is kind of annoying with this, the swinging part. Not because of the swinging, but because you have to gain momentum. Like, you have to hit back and forth on the directional pad to get this momentum that I've got. But, when he jumps, he doesn't always like, jump to the, like you can see I can jump to the right or jump to the left. He doesn't always do that. Sometimes he just jumps straight up. Like, what the hell, dude? Okay. Now we're gonna get into frustration part. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to make these jumps. But this is still, I don't think this is the most annoying one. There's another one up ahead that's also very annoying. Okay. Actually, this one, this one was good. Get up there. Don't you fuck this up. There we go. Good job, uh, buddy. I guess his name is Hal. The game is called Hal. I'm guessing this little dude, that's what his name is. And like I said, I think this is made in China, so that's why it's pronounced Hao and not Hoa. But I'm probably pronouncing it wrong anyway, just because the games- I hate these games that they have, um, like they have weird pronunciation. Pr pronunciate oh man I messed that word all up pronunciations for names but then they don't tell you how to pronounce the name so you're just up to guessing all right so those butterflies so now I have four butterflies and they brought me back to the beginning of the level so I don't have to run through that whole level again so that's convenient so now we got one more to get which is on the opposite side I'm thinking I can the carving is somewhere in this area, I believe. Uh, where it is, though, I not, I don't know, I don't remember. Ah! <laughs> I tried to double jump there and then realized uh, I don't have that. Can I even get over there? I don't think I can. Wait, what? I should be able to do that. Get over there, dude! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Ugh. 
I don't think I can get up there. Is there not an extra... There's no other way. How am I supposed to do this? I think I just have to go down to the bottom. Like a chump. Alright, I came out this way. So now I need to go all the way to the other side and get the other butterfly. I can't remember. I, I'm guessing I don't have to go that other way. I also don't think I need to go up here. I think I just need to go over. There's the, that's the thing we're waking up. It looks like a caterpillar, but I, I think it's a butterfly. I like them when they squeak. That's cute. Being upside down, you see a lot of things others can't. Like that branch over there, it's about to break. All we need is a little force. Come with me, my little squishy friend. This branch right here. Bam! And it's broken. Now we can go in here. The music in this game is amazing. I do like the music in this game. It's very nice. Uh, it kind of alleviated some of my frustration when I had nice music. Boing. Boing up here. Boing up here. Butterfly! There we go. Now we have all of them, so now I don't need to be over here anymore. Oh. Alright, I have all the butterflies, so now we just have to go wake up this big fat caterpillar. I think it's a caterpillar. Maybe it's a butterfly. It's definitely big and fat and it's right there. So to do that, I gotta go this way again. There should be an entrance. Is there an entrance over here? There is. Is this the entrance that I could come out of? I don't remember. Really? You put me back down at the bottom? Okay, it's this dude. Get up, dude. Out. He helps me jump further. So I gotta come over here. Oh, this thing. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Boing! Oh god! Get, get. No, no, I'm stuck! Oh no, I'm stuck and it, it won't. How are you stuck? <laughs> Ah, uh, you piece of garbage. How? Tell me. Tell me. See, that's the frustrating part about this platforming game. Dude got stuck. How did you get stuck and not be able to just push the leaf with your giant gigantic head to go to the right? No. We had to do this all over again. Don't you dare. He almost did it again. Okay. Light this up. I mean, is this really a, a butterfly? It's, it's a caterpillar with wings. I don't know if that qualifies as an actual butterfly. I mean, usually butterflies, they transform. They look a little bit different. Dude, you're a green squishy caterpillar. Whoops, I don't even go that way. Green squishy caterpillar that has wings now for some reason. It's really you! And look at the little icon! Maybe when I first saw that little icon I thought it was a monster because look at it! It looks like it looks like it's so angry. It's not. It's the little thing on its head is a V but <laughs> the thing looks like a, a man-eating butterfly. And it's telling me now it's gonna give me the power to double jump! I got the butterflies. Five butterflies. Five butterflies would teach you how to do a double jump. Which is pretty nice for this game. And now we can go see the next uh, thing. The old beetle. I know how to double jump. So now we have this. Double jump is in, in this game is pretty nice. It, I'll do that a lot. Get used to that. And we're actually done with the first area. So that was pretty quick. 
Am I going the right way? Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yeah, we're going the wrong Are we? Yeah, I think we are. Get over there. No, don't kick me! Did I not go the right way? Where the hell am I? Go to the next area. Yeah, I think I am. Oh gosh, stop it. So that was pretty easy. The, this game is not hard. It's not hard, like I said, there's no enemies. But it's a really fun, relaxing game uh, to just wander around in if you don't have anything to do. Where's my beetle friend at? Yo, I need you, come on. Even though we have the double jump, we still need this guy to help us. And double jump, there we go. But this reminds me of a Studio Ghibli film a little bit, um, the way the characters are drawn. I don't, the people that made it are not from that, but it just looks like it. Like this looks like this could be some kind of weird movie from Miyazaki. And the music is just awesome in this game. I know that I've been talking a lot over it, but it, it really is amazing. All right, we gotta wake this guy up. So here's, we've got two engraving areas and then there are two butterflies up above him, which I can't get yet. So those are gonna be the ones I get last. And it looks like we have one on one side and one on the other side. Really, I don't think it matters which order you do them in. Let me see, I don't think it does. I know the ones on the top, the top top of this area, like we can't get those yet because I can't reach them. So I'm gonna head this way first. Don't see, you can see them. Well, you can see that one. They're way, let me see if I can jump. See it, it's way up there in the corner, the corner uh, right. It's way up there, we can't get to it yet. This is where the double jump comes really in handy. And the game is pretty fluid, like, um, shit. Like you, uh, you need certain abilities to get to certain levels and once you have them, blah, blah, blah. Let me see, I have to go this way. I was looking to see if there was a need to jump the other way. I don't think there is, I don't remember. I know at some point... No, I don't think it matters on this one. I think I have to do it on the other end. Does it? One of these... I think it's on the other end. There's a like a red beetle and he's like super pissed off and you have to like make him mad on purpose. Come here. So, uh, so he knocks something over for you so you can get something. I don't think it's this side. No, it's not this side. I think it's the other side. Okay. I was trying to remember. I, I played this game a little- I played it. I finished it yesterday. But I still- my memory is bad, so I don't remember all the things. Get up! Did I- oh, I got the second butterfly already. Great. Come with me. Can you push this? Sometimes it's due to push. Nope. Here, push it now. Come on. Sometimes you can jump on them and they'll, they'll go in the direction you want. That was not one of those times. I had to jump on a block to get him to go the direction I wanted him to. Woo! Well, there's a symbol down here and we can light this up. I don't know what we are. Uh, I think we're a fairy. Like a, a ground fairy. Because when we first got here, we, we turned everything green. So we're like a spirit, uh, forest spirit thing. I also like how when you finish, there's a very quick way to get back. So I don't have to traverse through that whole thing. So we made this thing bigger. We still can't get that butterfly, but we can get to the, uh, we can't get to the next level. Maybe we'll grow, maybe we'll grow this thing up and then we can get them. We also can't push that block down there yet. 
that's that's to the next uh, the next guy that we're gonna go find. Maybe I can do two in one. Okay, so these are the dudes. So, uh, they're kind of having some kind of little party out here or something. Basically, we're gonna help this guy push this other dude into a corner. I want to come up here first and do this because this will save you from having to do it here in a minute. You see? So that's the thing I was talking about. Dude did not want to go the way I wanted him to go. He just didn't do it. Stop it! And then he like keeps walking. Like I don't, I didn't tell you to walk. That's why I don't want to use this. That's why I don't like using the stick. For some reason, the stick is really finicky. If you use the uh, the D pad, it's a little bit better control. I hate that he cannot jump, like through the leaves. Like his head hits the leaf, it knocks him down. It's stupid. Okay, this guy right here. So this is the other missable achievement. Let that guy do that. We can't do anything over here that so that was the whole point. Like I can't I can't get through here. Let's see, we're are, we're too fat. We're too big. So but that guy knocked that branch down, so now we can go get that other butterfly, which is on the other side. So what we have to do is come all the way down here. If you uh don't do this first, you have to come back and do it. So it's just better to just get this all done in one one big sweep. So we did that. So now we can go to the other side. So what I'll do is I'll jump on this bug. Let him push. Look at all these guys in the back watching. Some of them look extremely bored with it. Like they don't care. And some guys look really invested like they got a lot of money on this. But now we're gonna go in here. Do some more leaf jumping to get up there. There we go. And we're looking for another symbol and another butterfly. So, alright. Stop. So we come this way first. And remember that? That's the thing that guy knocked over, right? This is the achievement! There we go. Got the achievement. You basically jump on his back. I didn't do this the first time for some reason. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't. I don't think he can hurt you. I don't think anything in this game can hurt you. You don't even take fall damage in this game. But now, we got three butterflies. We come over this way, find the next symbol thing, which is right here. And wake this beetle thing up. Get up! get that way. So what you have to do now is we need to get those other two butterflies before we talk to him. Don't talk to me yet. I'm trying to get butterflies. So come over here. It's a convoluted way you have to do it. You can't just jump on the thing. Come down through here. And then I think I can go up this way. Yep. And get that one. Get that one. There we go. Now, to get back, <laughs> I don't think I can go this way. Nope. So I have to go back the way I came. Thank god I can do it this way though. And just like jump off. There we go. Now take my butterflies and talk to this dude. He looks. Oh! He looks like a an old guy with a very heavy like he's got these antler things growing out of his head man his head must be tired all the time these things look heavy
Your family took you to the Rock Tribe. To get to their kingdom, you need to push things. So now he's going to teach me how to push things. Push things by myself instead of using his friends to push things for me. Okay, I know how to push things now. Okay. So now we're going to learn how to push. Which is funny because you notice I don't have hands. So how do I do it? I do it with my face. He just shoves his face on the rock and pushes that way. 